Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV on the social, our interactive social media show where we answer questions sent in by you, our viewers. Uh, I've got to make an apology. Yeah. Um, it's been a while uh, since we, we filmed. Yeah. Um, we were going to film a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Unfortunately, you had I, was, I was ill. <laughs> no, it turned out I had tons of lights. I lost my voice. Yeah. It probably pleased my wife. This one's from Sarah the Bastard. Yeah. Um, what does Snodgrass do? I've seen nothing from him to get excited about. I mean, to be fair to Snodgrass, he's, he's, he has been played out of position a few games, hasn't he? So, mm. I mean, um, uh, I, he didn't, I've seen him take players on quite well, mm. and he, I, what I've seen from him is he's, he's, he's quite a hard worker. Mm. He's got good dead ball delivery yeah. as well. Yeah, his corners, <laughs> although it gets, they've gotten a bit crap recently mm. but when we first signed him like he was taking amazing corners compared to what Pyatt was taking even what Lanzini takes must be what we're doing training because everyone yeah. just seems to go really crap at corners yeah they can't beat the first man now he stopped beating the first man is that like some sort of thing in must training be doing training yeah so. don't beat but, the first uh, man I'd say maybe maybe judge him next season yeah maybe well he still, like, he's only played a few games still still settling in. yeah well we'll see where he fits into next yeah. season if we get yeah. Sigurdsson who knows yes um, next one's from at WHU underscore Hector. Um, says Obiang Kiate stand out as our best centre midfield too. Noble's a great club servant, but surely it's time he was left out. Um, I would say leave him out permanently. He's the club mm. can't see him. Um, well, I think he just, uh, mate, he just looks tired at yeah. the moment. He's uh, may, maybe a couple of games rest or well, to be fair, he's played a lot of football the last two seasons. Yeah, yeah. And we, we we left him out in the last game. Mm. Look what happened. We conceded two goals in the first six minutes. Not saying that's because we didn't have Noble in the mm. squad, but that was the squad that everyone said we should have had, you know. Mm. Yeah. Bobby and <coughs> Piatti together in the middle. Um, so, yeah, I think... I know, I know we had to do a lot of reshuffling because of, of injuries that game yeah, as well. So. I just think it's not... <coughs> Noble's obviously the easy, easy target. He's, I, think, I think he's the... He's the easy, yeah. He's the, the easy one to to be in the club captain. I mean, it happened with mm. with Nolan. Well, this one's for you. Oh, this go. one's directly for you. Oh, so, um, right. Alex PB Sport. All right. All right. Says, Dan, would you rather have hair and not win the league, or be bald and win it? Well, <coughs> see, is I actually quite enjoy being bald. You know, I think it's like kind of like my <laughs> look. Like, well, there's several reasons as well. It's not just you know. Obviously, I think it suits me now. Uh, but I had it for a while, but also. It's really easy in the morning not have to worry about your hair. Mm. I'm going to this way too yeah, long. I, I think day, just a West bold Ham. and win it would be. Bold and win it, yeah. Bold and win it. <coughs> Obviously, like, and if any of you would rather have hair than West Ham win the league, you're not a West Ham fan. And I've seen picture of you with hair and you do look like a bit of a devil child, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Would you Would you shave it all off if West Ham won the league? Yeah, I used to shave league? my head anyway. All right. But then like, with these eyebrows, I look like the hood out of Thunderbirds. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, right, next one is from at Vintage Lanzini. Uh, who would you bring in as a Pyatt replacement in the summer as well as a striker? Um, I mentioned uh, <coughs> Sigerson. Sigerson, yeah, I was, I was going to say uh, Sigerson. I think he's, a, he's got Premier League experience. Yeah, he scores um, goals. Yeah, I, I say I've a few mates of mine who are Tottenham fans. Like, you know, when they, they, we were talking about like Pyatt leaving and all that, I said, oh, I wouldn't mind going in for Sigurdsson. Mm. And a lot of them were saying they, they was actually pretty gutted when Tottenham sold him. No. So, he's, uh, he's, he's a good player. So, yeah, I'd have him. Next one. That's right. from Spanish Irons. <clears throat> Do you think the hardest player to keep on to this summer will be Pedro Obiang? Well, I have to say... I wasn't expecting the sort of Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> See what you've done there? See what you've done there? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, it's Monty Python reference. He's here all week. Um, yeah, um, I, I think it, but I also think that you, we might have some some clubs sniffing around Lanzini come the summer. I was about to say that, yeah. Yeah, Lanzini's definitely, I reckon, going to get a lot of interest mm. due to his age. But yeah, I'll be and probably will as well. But I know, I know there's been a bit of interest around Antonio as well. Yeah. So. So unless they do, you know, a pie and, and down tools, you which know, I don't see those those, those kind of players. Yeah, really. so I think we shouldn't have a problem keeping them anyway. Yeah. Another one from our mate Tom Down. Oh yeah, we always get a cracker out of it. Right, right, here we go. Would you rather sing in the middle of a packed West Ham pub, Justin Bieber song, Baby, or the Spice Girls wannabe? It's got to be wannabe for me because I can't stand Justin Bieber. 
Same here, same here. I don't really know the song that well. I mean, I, I, was, I didn't like the Spice Girls back then. I don't then. know Justin Bieber personally. He might be a nice bloke. I don't know. <laughs> right, next one is from Billy, um, at Adrian underscore SMDC. Would you keep or sell Adrian? <laughs> well, <coughs> clues in the name what he thinks, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> well, <Bill> um, <coughs> I'll it, personally keep him. It, so for me, it depends. It depends, right? If we if we're keeping just our two keepers as mm. Randolph and Adrian, then mm. keep him. But if we go and get a new first choice keeper like Joe Art, what they're talking about, then we can't have. I mean, Adrian and Randolph, can we? There's rumours that Liverpool are interested in Hart and that. So. Oh yeah, I mean, like, I'm, yeah. if 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 it stays as it is now, then definitely. I mean, Adrian, you know, he is. Um, <clears throat> He's a good keeper, you know. He does do some mental things, but um, yeah, you got to be a bit crazy to be a keeper. Yeah, yeah. But. I mean, I like our little, <coughs> I like our little system of having like one in the league, one in the yeah. cup. We just got us last in the cup, so. Right, next one's from Hammers Opinions. Uh, would you prefer Defoe or Sturridge, considering Jermaine Defoe's getting old and Daniel Sturridge is injury prone? Um, to be honest, I I, I go Defoe because although he's 30, was he 30? 34, 34. 34. He's, still, he's one of them players, he, he's a bit like Giggs really, he takes, takes good care of himself. Yeah. He still looks as quick yeah. as he did 10 years ago and he's, he's still doing the business, you know, he's yeah. still, still scoring banging goals. goals in for fun. So. He scored for England the other day. Yeah, so um, I personally, I'll add the term. Yeah, that's actually a surprise, the easy trick. I mean, a fit Daniel Sturridge, you know, mm. if he can stay fit, yeah, yeah I'm amazing yeah. having him, but... But then we've got enough problems at the minute with injury prone yeah, players, so we we'll just add to it. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> um, although Defoe comes to us, maybe he starts being injury prone because maybe it's fucking a weird problem, who knows? Yeah, no, I don't know. But um, I don't Defoe know. all day long, hopefully, less, uh, hopefully Sunderland go down and we get him on a free, lovely job there. You're going to get Sunderland fans giving you a Sorry, <laughs> but we want, a, we, want, we want a goal scorer for free. All Nothing right. personal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this way, this is our free part uh, from Josh Verrills. Yeah. Um, first part is Sacco's injury absences seem to be getting longer each time. Um, injury, or do you think there's another reason? I think injury is part of it because mm. he's he's very <clears throat> injury prone, talking of injury prone players. Yeah. And his head's just not in the right place, is it? Yeah, because I mean, it started off, oh, it's, it's my injury, be back within mm. however long. Mm. Was he played two games this year? Two, yeah. three games? Disappeared the second half of last season, we were just talking about. Maybe, yeah, so yeah. I, I mean, I, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors, nah. but. But he's he's uh, done for me. Yeah, I've personally I'd, I'd look at moving him on. Last bit of this question, this runs for you. All right. Is Dan ever going to improve on FIFA? <coughs> <coughs> is this a mug Dan off episode special? Is it? Must be anyway. <laughs> this is punishment because you you always go, oh well, do this if we get there, we'll do that. So it's your turn to get. <laughs> I mean, Graham will sh- uh, get his eyebrows ready when we get to twenty thousand. Never said that. We'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. I'll get better at FIFA when I have a better bloody partner in the FIFA chair with me, right? Because a lot of people that know that watch the FIFA, right? They know how poor Jace has been. He's been absolutely dreadful. Mm. He's been so so bad. So has he been like a bit, bit of bar on yeah, FIFA? Uh, is he? he has. <laughs> he's been honestly. He's he's holding me back. So. Um, yeah, if he if he improves, that will definitely. I won't have to carry the dead weight. Splitting the camp. There's a split in the might be. Might be. Yeah, you know, you changed. You changed. <laughs> well, yeah. I've got tired of losing every yeah, week. You're a superstar now, aren't you? <laughs> Bit tired of losing every week, and you get every week. I have to wear <coughs> next to me. Can't win them all. I <laughs> say so we don't win any. Yeah. Yeah. I've got um got a few off of Facebook as well. Nice. So we'll uh, we'll get on with them once. Um, first one's from Leonie Burlace. Um, do you feel Slav needs to have a go with some of the youngsters if they've been, as they've been having a great run recently? I've been thinking about doing a whole video on that. Cause, uh... I think they need to give it at least... I mean, it's, it's a tough one because at the minute we're still we're still not quite safe and we're, you know, we're, the other team below us are winning and they're gradually... So what do you do? Do you, do you want to get points on the ball first and then... Yeah, but, the youngsters yeah, but the thing or... is, when the, when we're not getting the points on the board with the mm. players that we've got, with the experienced players, it's like, so what do you keep doing? You just keep doing the same thing? Or well, do you turn <coughs> to a, a younger, hungrier player who might be up for it more? I mean, personally, I'll, I'll give the youngsters a go at the minute. Yeah. Um, purely because I think we're getting that many injuries at the minute. I think yeah. it's going to have to come to that eventually. Well, yeah, but, exactly. 
But I'm, I'm, I'm not saying like throw them all in wholesale like yeah. um, happened in the in the forest. Oh but yeah, but that was disastrous. Maybe maybe one or two. At a time. I mean, yeah. in alongside the yeah. more experienced players. To me, when you look at right the fact that we haven't really played youngsters this season, you know, um, Fletcher's had a bit of a, f- a few games. That's died off now. Third, if, um, Fernandez made a few appearances, but apart from that, and look how the big score lines have been getting battered by you know four nils, mm. five nils, all of these, and that's with experienced players play for the youngsters. It drives mm. me mad. We're supposed to be the academy of football. I say give give one or two yeah. like, a go at a time, not not wholesale changes. Right, that comes from Stephen Vincent. Um, do you think the club has outgrown the owners? Should they sell up? Um, well, I think I think yeah, I think definitely at some point, whether that point is is now mm. it depends like for me I don't want them to do a Birmingham City on us and just shaft us off to any to owner. anyone yeah. do you know what I mean like for me it has to be someone who has who's really interested in taking this club to the next level mm. like I think I don't think there's that much further these owners can take us but I don't want us to no. do um, no I mean like well we're certainly not going to compete with the likes of Man City and Chelsea and no no no, no, no. at the moment Um but you know, it, it's, if you want to get to that level, yeah. it's going to take someone to come in with like hundreds and hundreds of millions. By the way, that face you just done is <laughs> going to be a meme on the Graham fan club you watch. Every time he does a face, yeah, it's me thinking face. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to, under them. We're <coughs> challenging for the top eight, maybe in mm. each season. That's the sort of. Stuff. But then maybe that's what we need for a few seasons. Yeah, Constantly the, getting sort of six and eight, regular Europa League football, yeah. and then. Build on that. Next season's crucial for me to and mm. seeing that have a good window and then see how it goes. But if we don't have a good window, yeah, well, it's no good having like one good season, one bad season. We need a few solid to seasons many, yeah. of finishing round about the same area. You know, regular maybe getting regular Europa League football, not getting knocked out in the well. That's what yeah, the preliminary that. rounds, you know. <clears throat> but um, right, next one's from Philip Redford. Um, could Mark Noble play it right back to free up Kiate? And maybe extend his career. I, honest, I personally wouldn't wouldn't play him at right. I back. just want a right back at right back. Really. Yeah. No. That, that's what I'm saying. We need we need to go out and buy a right back, not keep putting. Oh yeah. Unless in he hold. means till the end of the season. Yeah. We're saying and maybe extend his career. But, oh yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I, think, I still I still think there's a few years left in Mark Noble yet. Yeah. I mean, he's he's I not, not even he's thirty been, yet. He's been. I mean, he's been written off a little bit. Right. Look. Next one's from John Rowley. Um. What was the point of moving um, if the if the ball don't have the money to compete with the big boys? Well, I think they do have the money to compete. Sullivan, you know, his net worth, you see, he mm-hmm. looks up, he's supposed to be worth a billion. Right? Yeah, but that's, that's, that's on paper, isn't it? That's not well, that, you know. I think we have the money to be spending a good amount of money. I think one of the questions... It was I mean, the, the problem is, like... I think there was a question we missed on the Twitter from Mark Stan W H U one that just reminded me. How much do the board need to spend uh, <coughs> in the summer to prove they want to compete? So because he put W H T V social instead of H T F T V. Apologies for, for yeah. missing that. Yeah, so, so tail off. Was on the WHF, yeah. so. Make sure you remember the F. <laughs> but yeah, so that sort of tails onto that for me. I think it's within our means, and I think what they need to spend in the summer is a hundred million. That's the that's mm. the figure I've been saying. But the thing is, I don't want it all going on like two players. Or so. I'd rather buy three or four yeah, decent but... players in, in oh, the positions yeah. we need them rather than just going in for like one striker for however many mil. You know. Yeah. Well, I'd rather not. I mean, you look what we sp- what did we spend like last season? What was it? Fifty mil, forty mil, whatever. Mm. And we got thirteen players. Like I wouldn't mm. want. I don't want something like that. No, no. I, I, I think I'd, spend like, I'd rather spend it on. Three, four, five yeah, yeah, yeah. decent players in the positions we need them. Right, last one is from Seth Everett Stratton. Um, does Byron deserve a run? <clears throat> I'd say, yeah. I, he hasn't really done <coughs> anything wrong. I mean, he ain't set no. the world ablaze, but he hasn't, he's been, I think he's been alright. Like, he hasn't, I don't understand, you know, why Billich don't rate him as much as he does. It's like, well, I know mm. everyone says, oh, we see him in training every yeah, day, but at like, the end of the day... Like, I, I don't think, think he's just done too much wrong yeah. when he has played. I there, think a so. lot of it comes through, like, we, we've got we got this a bit with Sam, you know, he's not my signing type of thing. He's not my signing, so I'm not really, I don't really want to play him because I didn't want mm. to sign him in the first place. So I think that was, no, that was like a board Terry Wesley 
David Sullivan signing. Mm. Um, and it's like, no, I believe that Antonio should be playing right back. and that. But we tried that last season yeah, and it that's, didn't work. Yeah. So. By the way, that was not me saying that. That's me. I'm slab when I say that. I, mean, I think we need to get a better right back. But I'd still have him. I still like him as a, I mean, as a still, backup. He's still a young lad. He's yeah. still learning. Was he like 22, 23? Yeah. I like 22, him. Yeah. Is he 22? I think he might be 22. I think he should be our <coughs> second choice right back. I think we should mm. keep him and let him learn under someone top top draw. Mm. Um and so like we had Arbor like about that panic boy. That was, was panic that boy, was a so. that was a shut everyone up going on right right because we were saying in the summer we need a right back we need a right back then we know mm. he's on a free get Arbor lower. Mm. Um, thanks for coming on, mate. Yeah, thanks no, for thanks, on. thanks for coming. Only a couple of weeks after we'd initially. Yeah, yeah. Initially got it. got there in the end, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so we we're, we're gonna have loads of videos coming out. Yeah, this we've got week a lot coming up this week on so. all different platforms. We're even gonna start doing Instagram. Yeah, F follow us on Instagram. Oh, steady on that. Because <laughs> right, we're getting on that. <coughs> we're gonna have videos going up Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. We've got Nicky's Musings coming out. Nicky's, uh, Nicky's. tomorrow or today? That's going out. Today, uh, well, when's, when is today? In the screen, the screen well, things. Whenever they're watching. Yeah, when they're, yeah. So, but they're, that, they'll be going up soon. Obviously, we've got Scott's previews, Dan's FIFA. Post match pint of the weekend, Frank Ryan's Gaines. ratings, um, so watch out for all of them. More than enough West Ham content, yeah. West Ham Fan TV content. Don't forget to follow us on all, all social media. Yeah. West Ham Fan TV, we're there under everything. Yeah, exactly. So I better start using some more of it now. So. Yeah, that's it, we're going to start using more of it. We're not just saying that this time, we are going to do yeah, it. So. Yeah, we are. Dan's, Dan's working on I'm it. I'm working so. on it. I've got, we've got videos coming <clears> up, mate. So, but again, um, thanks for everyone who took the time to send in a question. Um, I say we've got all the, all the videos going up this week, so Watch one, one thing left to say, mate. Come, Come on, on you lions. lions.